Hey, what is up everyone? It's KB here and welcome to Clivit. Today we are going to talk about the Windows 10 new update, the Windows 10 creator update. I recently got it and uh, I will also show you how you can also get that. So first of all, let's check our Windows 10 version. As you can see, now I have a new version of Windows 10, 17.03. So this is a new version and OS build is also new, 15.063.2. 50. Before this update, the Windows 10 Creator update, there was an update of Windows 10 Anniversary update. So now we are getting the Windows 10 Creator update. So this is also a huge update for the Windows 10. So it will change a lot of things inside the Windows 10. So yeah, it's the second time Microsoft giving us a huge update. As I already got this, uh, 1703, the new version of Windows 10. You can also get it from here. I will put link in the description. You can go there and check this out. So now when you reach here in this web page, as you can see here, Windows 10 Creator Update is available. So this assistant, you have to download this update now. This is a tool. Whenever you click on this, uh, it will download the tool. As you can see here, uh, it will download the tool. I also use this uh, tool to upgrade my Windows PC. So it's uh, easy as hell. If you want to get the latest creator update of the Windows 10, you can do that. I will put link in the description. Don't worry about the link. So yeah, let's talk a little more about this, what we get new thing inside this. First thing, big changes, uh, what I have noticed is the settings of the windows settings as you can see here everything is reorganized and they have added more things inside this so for example as you can see here gaming there is a description about what you will get inside the gaming setting and uh, time and language so they have reorganized everything every settings and they also have added more settings into it so uh, for example there is a update as you can see the update logo looks really cool they have added new logo and they are more and the windows defender is also totally different as you can see here now it's separate from the settings so the windows defender is there but you cannot do anything inside the settings but the windows defender is now separate thing so it's a full antivirus so this is really cool the windows defender got really huge update it's a separate thing and it can do all of the things within the app the windows defender so that is the big change inside this so there are more for example i'm gonna go into the personalization and after that uh, you go to themes and you will see there is a option of background to change the background and color sound and uh, mouse cursor so you can also change all of the things inside this now and one more thing apply a theme after that you will see get more themes in the store so you can now get the themes from the microsoft store so that is really cool so uh, you can find more themes backgrounds uh, here as you can see these these are the backgrounds and you can download any of those if you want to so that is the one of the coolest thing inside this now in new update of the windows 10 if you go to app section there is a new thing added and that is really awesome if you want to block any uh, software installation in your windows system like uh, uh, if you don't want to install from outside uh, there is the option of as you can see installing apps if you select on that and there is the option of allow apps from anywhere warn me before installing apps from the outside of the store and allow apps from the store only so if it's like this it will not install any another apps beside the uh, windows store so if you want to install the apps from you know from the outside of the uh, store windows store then you're gonna select the allow apps from anywhere or warn me before installing the apps from outside of the windows store so you're gonna select these two options you know select allow apps from anywhere this feature is here because of the security reasons you know uh, if you uh, select the option of uh, allow apps from the store only that means uh, none of the softwares from outside will not be installed in your windows pc that way your pc will not get uh, you know viruses and etc things so this is really cool for you know uh, students and uh, office workers and you know this is really useful feature the microsoft added and yeah i like it and we have a gaming option the settings and uh, as you can see here game bar is the same and after that broadcasting and game mode this is the really cool thing like you know whenever you run the game and you will not need a game booster now it will automatically optimize your pc to run the game good as good possible okay so uh, this is the new thing game mode really cool 
So on and on, there are you know more features. I cannot explain every single feature what they have added, but you know you got the little bit of idea what you will get when you update the Windows 10 to Creator Update, the latest version. Now the Cortana is also improved a lot. You know, so there are more uh, things added here. Cortana is now becoming like a Google Now. Like you know, if you talk to Google Now, if you have used the Google Now, you can say like uh, play the music and. Uh, uh, turn off the Bluetooth Wi-Fi and do some settings. So now Cortana is able to all of that thing So now Cortana is really improving. So Microsoft is doing a very good job So uh, you know you got the idea. So uh, Cortana is getting smarter and smarter. So let me give you an example Turn on the Bluetooth Bluetooth is now on so turn on uh, turn off the Bluetooth Bluetooth is now off. So yeah, uh, these are these are just some basic things what I have noticed, and there are more th many things inside the Windows 10 Creator Update. So they have changed a lot of things. Maybe I haven't covered every single thing, but I'm sure that you got the little bit of idea what you will get when you update your Windows 10 to Windows 10 Creator Update to the latest version 17.03. So that is the latest version of Windows 10 Creator Update if you update your PC. And yeah, I think this is it. I will put a link in the description for the you know windows 10 creator update tool so go there and get the tool and it will automatically upgrade your windows 10 to windows 10 creator update to the latest version of windows 10 since this is a major update of the windows 10 make sure that you back up or create a restore point of your windows 10 current pc before upgrading okay so so that way if something went wrong or something will happen to your pc so it will be easy to restore back and after that you can try to upgrade the windows 10 again so make sure that you uh, create a restore point i think uh, the restore point is the best and after that you can also create a backup so that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe i will put link in the description for the windows 10 creator update tools so you can go there and get that tool and upgrade your windows 10 to the latest version and yeah i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.